Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. W3 History here with the um, Sotec Cup number 84 Space versus Remind. And um, yeah, after winning the first map, uh, Space dropped second and third one. Therefore, he's now under a little bit of pressure. He needs to win this one to stay in the tournament and to keep his chances alive to win the prize money. And um, yeah, his opponent on the other hand has the first match point. And the map is Ancient Isles, the second version of Ancient Isles. Um, yeah, top left starting position we have Phoenix Remind. This time in blue, the switched colors. For what reason, I'm not sure. But okay. And uh, he's getting the Altar of Elders, the Moonwell, and he's building an Ancient of Four. Close to the Ogre Warrior, Ogre Magi, first roll Trapper spot, which will uh, which he will creep with the help of one archer. And it's once again the one here for Remind. Mm, let's take a quick look at the memories of space. He's um, getting the Death Knight. It's adding the Tomb of Relics once again. And so far... Okay, there's a second cigarette. So... Um, getting the second cigarette before the tech. And um, yeah, Ancient Isles, interesting map. Um, sometimes we have seen, um, yeah, uh, Google Rushes here against Night Elf. And um, yeah, maybe this time as well. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, for those of you who are not familiar Your with the map, quick map. overview we have a tavern here in the middle. We have two goblin merchants on each side. So the map is kind of, yeah, mirrored here in the middle. We have a gold mine, we have a mercenary camp, and we have the goblin laboratory. So, yeah, everything you could wish for. And, uh, yeah, Remind starting his creep camp. Scout Acolyte um, of space killed with the Shadow Strike here. And, um, yeah, Warden will get a decent amount of experience points here. And obviously, the first item, Claws of Tech plus six, yeah, not the worst item for sure. DK once again sold his Tom Bottle. Has the Rod of Necromancy in the Dust of Appearance in his inventory in this storming here uh, for the Night Elf. Main base coil used on the Wisp. Uh, this time he was successful. Oh, beautiful Wisp that the Night here killing both Skeletal Warriors uh, right after getting summoned. So, yeah, we're not able to deal any damage whatsoever. Let's take a quick look at the main base of Remind. He's getting some more Wisp, getting a Moonwell. And yeah, at the moment is chasing the DK of space, which yeah, lost half of his hit points already. And there are still some more Shadow Strikes to come. There we go, there's the next Shadow Strike here on the DK. And um, yeah, this harassment was not so good, but maybe with the goose around, he could turn things around. He surrounds the ward and coil is used. Oh, but the rod is not close. The DK needs to run back. There's a ghoul for space. Where's the block? Where's the block? Where's the block? Where's the block? He's not blocking. Uh, space taking to a tier two warden. Yeah, 66 mana points. There's the next shadow strike. This could be the end of the DK. Oh, 40 hit points. I think the regeneration, yeah, should be enough. So the DK is losing more and more hit points here, but he's regenerating them almost at the same speed. So, yeah, not a big problem here. Um, to stay alive, but still low um, HP DK is kind of problematic. You cannot really go for any further harassment. And therefore, yeah, Space is pulling out the ghouls and starts his first creep camp. He's also going for the first road trapper auger spot here. Gets a tomb of agility. Uh, let's see, Remind with his Ancient of War and uh, finishing up creep spot here in the middle of the map. And, um, yeah, almost level, well, close to level three, level two and a half. Uh, has a ring of protection, using the moon wells to heal the warden up, and obviously to regenerate those important mana points. And, um, yeah, Remind kind of building his main base all over the place. We have an engine of war here, here's the shop, and the next engine of war is running down there. And also in this main base, it's pretty, yeah, uh, everything is pretty far away. But that's not all for you, ladies and gentlemen. 
And um, yeah, Remind now trying to creep the Goblin Mansion on the right side of the map, but two Scattered Warriors are coming in, getting focused immediately. And Remind now going for the Gnoll over here, but the DK is here. Uh, uses his first coil. One is a little bit yeah, endangered here. Let's put it this way. Uh, Tomb of Knowledge is getting dropped here. Archer is trying to kill a ghoul. The coil connects. The big creep goes to the DK. It's a win of illusion. Yeah, nice item for scouting purposes. And um, yeah, even in a fight. Um, because, yeah, when there are two DKs. Who should your shadow strike? That's down to, yeah, uh, luck if you're not able to attack it first and see how much damage it takes. Uh, let's see, space with his illusion immediately going into the main base of Remind. Takes a quick glance here, sees the Huntress Hall, sees the tier 2 tech has been finished. And, oh, okay, we're seeing the Naga Sea Mage as a second here for Remind this time, so no condemned Brewmaster. Angel of War, which ran down to the gold mine, now helping out with the creeping here. Uh, Decay Illusion is storming in, but Remind is not reacting to it. Gets the big creep here, gets a Parrot of Fatality, gets a level 3 with the Warden. Naga obviously getting the first experience points as well. But, yeah, still a long way to... The next level up, and uh, let's see, TK using another illusion. Oh, okay, we are seeing a straight to free tech here for space, and this time he's really going for gargoyles. And the slaughterhouse getting built here as well. And um, yeah, a player's forces are under attack. Two crypt gargoyles. Always nice to see. Uh, kind of annoying. For the Night of Player, that's for sure, when the Whisper getting harassed. But, yeah. Let's see if Space is even going for this. Um, two Angels Floor getting built here by Remind. It's getting the Ultra Vision upgrade. And got himself a creep here at the Goblin Laboratory and the Goblin Zeppelin. And with his two heroes and four archers, he, it seems like he wants to start a drop here. Oh, but there's so many ghouls. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. But on the other, uh, other hand, uh, there's no near Rubin Tower whatsoever. There's the drop. There we go. First Acolyte getting Shadow Strike focused. Uh, okay, one Acolyte might go down. There we go. One blinking in with the next Shadow Strike, next Acolyte getting attacked here. Oh, those Gargoyles immediately attacking um, the Zeppelin, the Coil, the DK. Yeah. Did no damage whatsoever because the Staff of Teleportation was just in time. And therefore, yeah, the Warden out of this tricky situation. I could imagine this, that Remind was very surprised that he's uh, really going for gargoyles. Um, but um, yeah, that's also the sign of a good player, the variation for different strategies. Let's see the next little fight here. Ghouls have the Frenzy upgrade ready. Uh, going for the Warden. Lich is a second hero now added as well. Coil, Frost Nova, attack on the first hero of Remind. But Space DK is a little bit of trouble here. Uses his Coil. Oh, the blink was here. But the Coil still going for the Knight of First Hero. And now Space trying to snipe the Naga here. Ghouls in a perfect position. Beautiful surround. But there's the staff of... Uh, by Remind's Dark Ranger, uh, Dark Ranger, um, Warden. And uh, yeah, he's able to get two Archer kills, maybe some more. Oh, those Archers are running into the Mercenary camp here. And Space is thinking, yeah, why not? Let's go for the Red Rake. Oh, gets a Lightning of Stormwind, that's a good item. Level 2 as well, gets the Archer Creep, so yeah. Creep Spot Plus, you could say. Uh, creep experience and some archers. 
Yeah, let's see what is uh, Remind. What Remind is up to? His tier three tag is almost finished. He has two ancients of floor. He has two ancients of wind. He's getting hippogriffs and uh, yeah, some archers, as well as the first root of the claw. We adapt already. Mm. Yeah, not so sure about those uh, hippogriffs because you need a huge amount of hippogriffs to counter those gargoyles and at the moment he's very very far away from this number he only has two against six gargoyles it's kind of difficult um but yeah let's see how the next fight will turn out remind in the meantime going for the golden laboratory here right next to his main base using fork lightning to uh, speed up the creeping here a little bit. Gets a win of the wind. Ah, oh, but it's getting creep checked here. First. Yeah. Uh, the first super griff getting killed by the Gargs. Space getting the last creep here. And Space Army looking kind of strong at the moment. 46 supply against 34. And uh, yeah, it seems like that. Space wants to go on the offensive. He has two scrolls of healing. And yeah. Oh, now we are going in. Fork Lightning, Shadow Strike in those gargoyles. First Hippogriff gets killed. Scroll of healing used. Beautiful done here by Space. Next Hippogriff goes down. We have to first destroy already. Shadow Strike trying to do something here. But yeah, Destroyer is still alive. As well as those Gargoyles. And that's the death of the first root of the Claw. Naga is in trouble here as well. Getting forked Lightning. Getting sniped. And <laughs> that's the GG. Bye.